Hi, Joe Paprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up catechesis. So, you know, I tend to be kind of a sucker for these optical illusions that have two images in there, but most of us only see one. This is an image that uh, actually contains an image of two women, a young woman and an older woman. Some people only see a young lady, others see the older woman. And it's not until someone points out that the younger woman's face is looking towards the back uh, and uh, what appears to be the older woman's mouth is actually the necklace on the young lady and the older woman is looking directly to the side and so on. And when that happens, we go, oh, well, now I see it was there, but we needed someone to help us see. I really think that's what Jesus does in all of his ministry, but certainly in the Sermon on the Mount, especially in the Beatitudes, where Jesus is really telling us, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by what the world teaches you that often it's not what it looks like. And so the world teaches us that in order to be happy, you have to be rich, make lots of money and have lots of possessions. But Jesus teaches happy are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God. The world teaches us that to be happy, we need to constantly experience pleasure and always be having a good time. Jesus says, happy are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. The world says to be happy, we need to be powerful, strong, and always making sure that your voice is the loudest. Jesus says, happy are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. To be happy, the world says we have to look out for yourself, climb over others to get to the top, grab for all you can. Jesus says, happy are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. The world says to be happy, you need to be ruthless, take no prisoners, win at all costs, never back down. Jesus says, happy are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The world says to be happy, you have to cut corners, bend the rules, fulfill your every desire, be selfish. Jesus says, happy are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. The world says that to be happy, you have to fight to get what you want, divide and conquer, defeat others. Jesus says, happy are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. And finally, the world teaches us that uh, to be happy, you have to stay comfortable, blend in, conform at all costs, just do what feels good. But Jesus teaches, happy are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Jesus really does turn the world upside down. You can help your children to not be fooled by the messages that the world gives by helping them to understand and to take the heart, the Beatitudes that Jesus shares in his Sermon on the Mount. For Pop-Up Catechesis, this is Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless.